But at the time, Jerry and I were living together. Right. And that was kind of the, the hangout place because nobody else lived on the There was home. no parents. Um, well, really, and I was technically an adult. So. Right. It was like, okay, well, Steve's, eh, but he can buy alcohol, so yay, yeah, Steve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just remember, like, you would come over, and there was one night I came over, I, I was at home, and I was like, right. I'm going to bed. And you were sitting in the chair in the living room mm. watching a fucking Western movie. Yeah. And I was like, all right, well, turn it off when you leave. Right. Eight hours later, I wake up to go to work, and you're sitting in the same chair. I don't know if you were watching the same movie. It was the movie, same movie. Because I dozed off, and I kept waking up, and I'm like, when's this movie going to be over? And I was just like, what the fuck? It was the, um, what was that? It was the, uh, the Man Called Horse or something. I'm like, I knew it was a long movie, <laughs> but... That was Needless to say, movie. I was like, all right, well, I'm going to go to work, turn the goddamn TV <laughs> off when you leave. And I don't remember if you were, uh, I, just, I, I don't think there. you were home no, no. at the house, but I was just like, the whole day at work, I was like, God damn it! if Steve is at the house when I get back, I am going to flip out. <laughs> no, so. you like showed up at 5, and then I showed up at 5.05. Oh, you're here! I was just like, what'd you do? Did you just walk and hang out behind a tree and wait for me to come in? Oh, I've been gone all day, bro. <laughs> Oh, well, contrary to popular belief, I do not break into your guys' home all the time. Well, that's what we hear. That's what you hear from the the people that broke in, that all, the broke time? in all the time. They're like, yeah, it's real easy. You just kick in the front door. <laughs> and I'm like, what? If you take this, like, really, you could, well, I guess back then I could have fit through a screen, but there's only one that was uh, tall and skinny enough to fit through a uh, screen this big, so and it wasn't me. Well, it wasn't the best of houses. No. It was a garage. It was, it was a two-car garage a, converted into an apartment. I mean, the bathroom was so small, if you took a shit, your feet were had to sit in the tub. <laughs> yeah. It was... Yeah. And then I just kind of, like, moved mm -hmm. in. And you're like, and we started, you're like, why am I getting your mail? <laughs> well, I don't know. Oh, that is weird. <laughs> why is the electric bill in your name? <laughs> And then uh, Jerry, like, left and paid all the bills. He, like, literally just kind of took off. He left a note. Well, the thing is, is, like, he realized that I wasn't going to pay him. <laughs> so if he wanted a place to so live. So if he wanted to come back and have electricity <laughs> or running water, he was going to pay it before he left. And he was gone for, like, three weeks. We were, I was, we were, well, we, I say, I was, I was probably uh, a horrible ad, uh, post-adolescent. I mean, it was just not, uh. I had not. I didn't have a lot going on back then. You Unemployment, didn't. no car, no job. You had a lot of free time. I had a lot of free time. <laughs> um, but yeah, we did that, and then we actually tried starting a band. We had yeah. we brought on Chad Eck for guitar. Chad Eck, who was actually one of my guitar students whenever he was a kid. Well, yeah. I was at. I was on a bowling team with Kinder and County and Jerry. Right. And you showed up. And you're like, I know a guy who play guitar. And I was like, well, let's get out of here. They're like, we got like two games left. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Who's my handicap? They're mad. <laughs> so we got Chad up there. We went back to my house. We jammed for a little bit. Who we got? Richter. John Richter to play drums. Who was... brought over the shittiest drum set of all time. <laughs> like, I could have brought down Pots and Pans. And we could have banged on that. Pots and Pans would have sounded awesome. Shittiest drum set ever. Ever. But he... And I thought, oh, this is going to be good. Because if anybody... Did he buy him from a shark? Yeah, <laughs> they look like they've been ate. Look like somebody had somebody had chewed on them. It was, yeah. How does a drum set get like that? I I don't know. Like really, I like I go. Did your mom like you know kick him out of the back of the car while you're doing thirty down the road or what? It was the worst. <sighs> his 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 cymbal sounded like pipe hands, like aluminum <laughs> pipe hands. It was like, pah, pah. like I can do sound effects that were better, but he could play, which was surprising. Like, but even on that drum set, it sounded like shit. Yeah. So he could have had John Bonham's drum set. Yeah. It might have sounded okay. But, but that, not, that, that those drums were horrible. But like I was, I was really surprised. He did, he did really well. He did really well. I think we put, did we play together twice or just once? <laughs> Never. I got kicked out of the band. <laughs> no, 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 no. We stopped. We stopped playing with. I mean, did we play with Richter once or twice? Oh, we played with Richter like twice, and then like his mom would let him, right? Well, he didn't have a car, right? And we didn't want to pick him up, and yeah. But he kept, he kept, like, he kept saying that his mom wouldn't let him go. Well, my mom would let me go to St. Louis. No, or... oh, we wanted, we were gonna play at Pops. 
That's right. Because they had the, oh, that's right. the open battle yeah, yeah, thing the anybody could play. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I can't play any St. Louis. Yeah, like, my mom will never let me go. <laughs> I'm like, aren't you like 23 now? <laughs> yeah. You moved to St. Louis. I did. I moved to St. Louis. Um, yeah, I moved to St. Louis and started doing uh, doing some stuff up here. Uh, you know, working and, you know, starting a family and everything like that. Uh, got married and... Uh, That's pretty unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> So you I, gave me one week's notice to your wedding. I, I, yeah. You came down to my work at Merrimack Caverns. Yeah. And we're like, hey, can you get off next Saturday for my wedding? I was like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Saturdays are our busiest day. You know, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah. Well, it was kind of like, so it's like, did you invite everybody? And I'm like, yeah, I'll get to it. <laughs> well, I will. I mean. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm getting married. You want to come on down? So. Uh, yeah, we got married and um, uh, to a wonderful, wonderful woman uh, who absolutely puts up with all my crap. Yeah, I don't know how you managed to pull that off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, no offense to you, but... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's the same way with me when people hear I got married, they're like... Really? What? And then and then you're like, you're like, you're like yeah, I married Lydia, and then they're like, she's... Really? Is she retarded? You <laughs> <laughs> must be... Hung like a horse, because you are ugly and fat. <laughs> yeah, I, I married way over my head, so yeah. People do the same thing. They're like, really? She's with him? So, and like, when people talk to us, we're like, hey, good job. And then you yeah. talk to her. And her, they're like, like what, what is wrong with you? Takes a special person. <laughs> takes a special person. That's what I was, yeah. Uh, and then um, uh, I, I, was, I was playing music. Um, of course, you know, I, I was playing, uh, playing with my family's group, played with my family's group for years and years and years. Crimson? Crimson River. Um, bluegrass, gospel, you know, my dad was a professional musician. I grew up, you know, playing music and I, I love that stuff. It's still part of me and, you know, what I do. And then, um, uh, Eric, you know, Eric was in it. My little sister, she's a music major at Webster. Uh, so yeah. Really? Yeah.